all of us have talked about this idea of responsibility because the ego will take the, the concept of responsibility and it will project it to the world. You know how I said, don't project the error to time. The ego will take a concept like responsibility and it will project it to the world. And there will always be guilt when you take an idea, a concept like responsibility and you project it. It doesn't matter whether it's, it's parental responsibilities or spouse responsibilities or citizenship responsibilities or anything with regards to being a human being, anything with regards to a house, to a neighborhood, to a country, um, even to health of the body. Remember the body is just an, a, a device that the Holy Spirit can use as a teaching device, but it's not who we are and we're really not even to project health onto the body because it's a neutral device to the Holy Spirit, no different than a, than a leaf, no different than a butterfly or a rock. It's, it's everything to the Holy Spirit is completely neutral and the only value and the only purpose anything has is the purpose which you give it. it nothing has any value, nothing has any inherent value except the purpose that you give it. That's lesson number two from A Course in Miracles workbook. I have given everything I see all the meaning it has for me. And the only way we can forgive and the only way we can, we can let the Holy Spirit's meaning be written on everything is to withdraw the meanings, the egoic meanings that we have projected onto everything. And so that's why this is not really a course in learning, it's a course in unlearning. Because it's a course in erasing everything, every speck of meaning that was given to the world and letting it become an empty slate. The first newsletter I ever put out was called Tabula Rasa. And some of you know Tabula Rasa is a blank slate. But the blank slate is very important because the Holy Spirit cannot really give you the forgiven world unless you are willing to give the Holy Spirit the blank slate. The Holy Spirit cannot write a new meaning on the world while an old meaning remains on the world, while the past is stuck to the world in terms of associations, then the new, clean, fresh, pristine vision of Christ cannot appear and the, the happy dream and the healed perception of the Holy Spirit cannot even appear while there's an old meaning given to it. So now you know why it takes trust because you really it's are having to except you become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven, really means except you become as dependent as infants are onto their parents, on, that dependent on the Holy Spirit for everything, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. That the Holy Spirit is the gateway. And the Holy Spirit isn't a, a specific path and form, there are many paths and form. So we're not even meant to judge the path. 